bring this one down just a touch. That's pretty much bang on, eh? Gotta wedge it in so it doesn't budge. Well, yeah, you don't want it moving while you're cutting it. Yeah.
Oh, the ladies are gonna love this video. The ladies are gonna love this video, bud. Female subscriber base just flies through the roof. All right, look at that. Look at how satisfying that is, eh? <laughs> Don't you love it? Sweet, eh? Yeah. We'll flip it to see what side's the best. And I'll cut that six, and then we'll just boom, 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 down, down two inches every time. Okay. Okay? All right. How's it going everybody? I've been working here with my buddy Kyle Loney. He brought over his bandsaw mill and this is making work a lot easier than using my chainsaw mill because I have a lot of logs I want to turn into lumber. We're making true dimension two by sixes out of a bunch of cedar logs for a project that um, I'm hoping to eventually do. I'm thinking about making a wood fired hot tub. And basically I need uh, a ton of two by sixes. So that's what we're working on. Check Kyle's uh, Instagram out. It's kyle.loney on Instagram. And uh, nice to know a friend that's got a freaking bandsaw mill. So this puppy, he can just attach it to the trailer of his truck. Trailer here, no problem. More than large enough to uh, handle logs much bigger than what we're milling, eh Kyle? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's- uh, go, go up to 32 inches. 32 inch logs and, and long as heck too. So pretty good. It's uh, Norwood is the brand of the mill. Um, and it's just pretty fun actually, extremely satisfying. There's a lot of figuring that goes into it. You don't just whip a log on there and just start going buck wild with it. You got to uh, kind of figure out what is going to yield the most lumber per log. And you know, you might get a few extra cuts that aren't exactly what you want but uh, you know you got to kind of take some time just to square it off you got to use a level as you've seen us as you've seen us doing um, to make sure that uh, your lumber is going to be as square as possible um, so yeah it takes it takes a little bit more skill than just slapping a log on there and running the mill through but uh, Kyle's done 
quite a bit of this so I'm basically just uh, you know taking his lead and uh, he's basically um, you know doing the doing the leg work here on this but it's pretty good so far we have a pretty good amount of uh, lumber already and a few more logs to go before we're done so I'm basically it's already pretty dry but I'm gonna basically let that season and likely work on this project I have in mind next spring so yeah excited to uh, get this mill going just exciting to see the thing work and very satisfying to see these slabs of lumber come out of these logs just awesome Yeah, it's probably one of the other reasons why cedar's expensive, eh? Yeah, I, I can see where it's, some of the teeth are bent down. So what would you do? You'd like reset those? Maybe? Did you read the instructions eventually? Right off the hop. New blade, buddy. New blade. Now these spring like a bastard, so just... Now this can be a pain in the ass. Give us that Allen key. Yeah. Wesley.
court. Just do like another headboard or something under this. Thank you.